Now that we have talked about the concept of application layer, let us see how it actually works. Hello and welcome to week 3's uh, video on port numbers. So we know port numbers are used to distinguish communication for different applications. For example, the websites use port number 80. So your browser knows that this packet is being sent to a server and it has come from a server. And when your browser is sending out the request, it attaches its own port number. So now we have seen these things in Packet Tracer. So uh, what we thought it would be a good idea to actually see them on Wireshark. And what we'll do is let's open Wireshark. And uh, let's see how uh, on real time traffic, we can distinguish uh, traffic uh, for different applications. Now we'll use the Wi-Fi adapter that is used in this uh, card. So we see a lot of uh, traffic that is going around. You have different protocols uh, going around here. So in the meanwhile, what we can try is try opening, say, some website. Let's, for example, just open our old dummy website, which is this. Now, since we have generated some traffic, we can go back and uh, see what's there on uh, Wireshark. So what we'll try to do is we'll try to filter out uh, traffic. Now we know uh, the protocol that uh, the website is using is HTTP. So let's filter out this and let's try to see what is the port number here. So what we see here is the destination port number is 80 and source port number is 53712. So what it means here is that this packet were, is intended to go to a web server via the protocol HTTP. So when the, this packet comes back, then uh, the source, the destination port would be this and the source port will be this. That is when it comes back, comes back from the server. So let's try to see some other uh, HTTP request packets and see if we can see. So these are all requests that are going to the web server. Now you see this one here, the source port is 80 and the destination port is 53715. So this means this packet has come from a web server and it has come to the application which was using the port number 53715. So this way port numbers are used to distinguish uh, different communications that belong to different applications. And even the, even if it's the same web browser and it has multiple tabs here, so all the tabs would use different port numbers. So let's try and see if we can find any other uh, protocol that uh, the laptop is communicating through. So let's try DNS, which is domain name service. And yes, we have some packets from G DNS. So again, we see here the source port number is 53 and the destination port number is something like So This is a response packet. And let's try to see here. Yeah. So we have a, uh, uh, we have the source port as 53 and destination here. And here again, the reply has come. So here, what we see is the source port is 53 and destination port is 55987. And here what we see is for uh, one of the replies, which was 51807, the reply has come back, which is with destination port 53. So this is uh, another example of uh, how different protocols use port numbers. And so these are some standard port numbers. 53 is a standard port number for uh, DNS requests. Similarly, 80 is a standard port number for uh, web browser based HTTP requests. Okay, and uh, let's see another uh, protocol. So let me show you something called ARP. Now, the interesting thing here is ARP is a protocol which actually doesn't work uh, on uh, the application and uh, higher layers. It basically just uh, works till the internet layer. So all you see here is the IP addresses and the MAC address. Basically what ARP does is it uh, gets the corresponding MAC address for IP address or vice versa. So we call one as ARP, the other as uh, reverse ARP or reverse address re uh, resolution protocol. So, uh, so all the protocols that work on the application layer have these port numbers. So this is a brief uh, uh, demonstration of port numbers. There is one more uh, crucial uh, concept with port numbers called port address translation. For port address translation, what we would uh, want you to do is go through the article on port address translation and try to see what it means. Once you have read the article, go to the next video and we'll talk more about port address translation. Thank you.